Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to scrape Instagram profiles so you can get the data on their follower count, following, what kind of posts they're doing, maybe even throw it into ChatGPT, make some sort of analysis. And this is perfect for anyone who wants to use Instagram to gather data, maybe to find clients, get leads, or do competitor analysis, and you can do it all on autopilot. So I'm not only gonna show you how to get the data, but also how to get a large list of Instagram URLs so you don't have to manually find the URLs and then scrape them, but how to find the URLs at scale, scrape them at scale so you can do your data analysis quick and easy. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Jan, and on this channel what we do is we talk about AI, about automation, and how you can make money with automation. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so the first step is obviously to gather URLs of profiles we want to scrape. And this is actually the hard part. So a lot of people don't know how to automate this part. Like it's pretty easy to, once you have the URL, you can then you know, enrich the profile by just using a scraper, which I'll show you in a bit. But this is a little bit of the harder part and this method, I haven't seen it anywhere online, so I'm kind of leaking my secret sauce here. But what you can do is if you type in site and then instagram.com and then plus and then your search query, you'll get profiles matching that search query. So let me type an example. So as you can see right now, I typed in site, colon, instagram.com, plus hairdresser. And then you can see all of these profiles of hairdressers pop up. So in my case, it will be in Dubai because that's where I'm searching from. But if you're searching from the US, it will be there. But you could also add in another one, right? Like add in, for example, New York. And then you will get search results from hairdressers in New York and you will get to filter them out. Is this 100% accurate? No, so definitely play around with the search query. But as you can see, you'll get a long list of profiles to then take to the next step. So for example, here as well, I did fitness trainer in New York. As you can see, you got a bunch of them. So if you're selling them some sort of marketing service, you can get their profiles. The hair salon, I just showed as well. A nutrition brands, so if you're doing e-com and you wanna work with nutrition brands, for example, you can get a list of them this way by basically manipulating the Google search query to search within Instagram for your keyword. So then how do we take these URLs and actually plug them into the next tool? So for this, we're gonna use a Chrome plugin that's called Instant Data Scraper. So this is a super handy plugin that basically runs inside of Chrome and then you can just click on it and it will find a table within a website and you can start extracting the data. So let me just show you how it works. So let's say we go for the hair salons, just click on the extension, click Instant Data Scraper and as you can see the pop-up comes in and then it's looking for a table. So right now it's not the right table because if you look at the preview, it's not showing a lot of things, but if we try another table, as you can see right now, boom, we got a list of all of the URLs. But we only got them from the first page. So the amazing thing about Instant Data Scraper is that you can paginate through the pages. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a delay. So it's gonna do four to 20 seconds between each page. So it's natural because if you go really quickly, Google will say like, hey, what are you doing? So you do four to 20 seconds and you say locate next button. And then you just basically click on next here so it knows where to click. So then once you located the next button, you say start crawling. And as you can see, my browser, like I'm not touching anything, it will automatically start paginating through the pages and get all of the data and add it to our sheet here. And as you can see, it's getting longer and longer with more and more Instagram URLs. And you know, you just sit back and wait and go to the maximum pages. And you can also see here how many pages it scraped, how many rows are collected, how many rows they got from the last page, how long it's running for. And you can just keep this running for a bit so you get a long list of all of the profiles you want. And then you can also do maybe a hair salon Boston or hair salon wherever you're located in the world. So you can just get your list to be as extensive as you want. I'm just gonna hit stop here for now. And then what we can do is we can just click on download CSV. And then if we open that up, you can see we, can, we now have a long list of Instagram URLs that we can feed into the next step of this data collection process. So now onto the next step. So the next step is to use a software called Epify because they have built-in scrapers that are really good for all different kinds of use cases. And it's actually free up until $5 a month. So if you're not doing too much volume, you could actually do this for completely free. And if you start doing some volume, it's actually also a very affordable option because they have a pay-as-you-go scraper. So I already logged into my account and as you can see, I have the Instagram scraper here and you can pay $2.30 per thousand leads which should be very easy to get an ROI on, right? Let's say you scrape 10,000 leads, you just spent $23. I mean, that should be easy to get a return on. Just one client will pay for that for months and months and months. So how to set this up? It's fairly easy. We basically go back to our spreadsheet. We take the URLs and then we just select all of them. 
we go back to the browser, we say bulk edits, we paste them in here. As you can see, it's a long list of URLs. We say set. And then as you can see, all of them are being filled out. It does look like we have one error here. Let me see. All right, so it just had one empty line. So let's just remove that one. Now we should be good to go. And actually also you have a button here, remove empty fields to make it easier for you. So we can do a max amount of items. So let's just do 20 in our case, but we can do up to 120 because we just collected 120 URLs and we can say save and start. All right guys, so now we got a huge data set out here. And uh, as you can see, you know, we have some URLs that are actually not profiles. So for example, slash explore a location. So on Instagram, it looks like this. So it's not really like a profile. So if you only want profiles, we can actually alter our search a little bit. So I'll show you how to do that as well in a bit. But as you can see, you know, you get the profile, um, you get like a, like a JSON with all of their information. You get like another confirmation of their location. Um, what's this? It's like mentions. So if they mention anything else, just a bunch of data. So it depends really on your use case, what you're after, uh, but you can also get their website from here, as you can see, uh, like if there's a website in there, if there's a website in their profile will show up here as well. All right guys, so some of the results, like I said, had like posts in there. So it wasn't only profiles, but also posts, but you can add to your search query as minus in URL colon slash P slash and minus in URL colon slash explore slash. And basically what it does, it means that it cannot have in the URL this little syntax. So slash P or slash explore. And if we go back to the results page, you can see that that is basically the way Instagram shows different types of pages. So if it's a profile, it's just basically slash, let me show you an example. And you can see it here, right? With the input URL from the scrape we just did where we didn't use those operators. So you can see slash explore slash. And then if we scroll down, you can see just like slash and then whatever syntax it is, that will be like the unique profile that's out there. It will be like the unique profile and basically not like a post or explore page or any sort of other Instagram feature. All right, so with the new search query, let's scrape one more time so we get a clean one as well. So again, we select a table, we find the next button and we click start crawling. And as you can see on the left side, we're only getting profiles, right? And we can see that from the URL structure. So only profiles. All right, let's stop for now. I'll download the CSV. From the CSV, I'm copying the URLs. I go back here and I have to bulk edit, remove the previous ones we had, paste in the new ones. Seems to be one weird one in here that I'll just delete for us. And then also one setting we can check or uncheck is if we want to scrape the posts, comments, details, or anything else, if we leave it empty, they'll just scrape the profile. Um, so yeah, we can uh, choose whatever we want. Depends obviously on the use case. Max items 20, save and start. All right, as you can see, we now have a list of only Instagram profiles and all of the data you want. So you can use this for your further lead generation. All right, so that's it. That's exactly how you can use Appify to scrape Instagram URLs and use Instant Data Scraper to get the URLs you even wanna scrape. So if you're gonna do this, I put a link to both of the tools in the description down below, as well as my newsletter. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, consider signing up and you get access to free bonuses. As well as make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.